The MintSwap liquidity bootstrapping event has started and in this video I'll be taking through the entire process so that you're aware and know exactly what you need to do to provide liquidity and all the gotchas and caveats in the process. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get Hey everyone, I'm Peter Buey and I'll be taking you through this entire experience. It's been quite easy from what I've seen. I've read through the documentation and a couple of FAQs, the gotchas and things that you may need to look out for. So after watching this video, you should know exactly how it all works, why you're doing this, what, what is exactly happening and to provide that liquidity for that price discovery phase of this MinSwap DEX launch. It's pretty cool, I really do like this approach. So let's have a look at the website here and let me just pull it up. Now you can get to this at lbe.minswap.org or if you're looking at it from the homepage of the MinSwap website, there's this little link right across the top here. The discovery phase is now live, you can supply the ADA now and that will take you to this website. Now, what are you actually looking at here? If this is your first time ever seeing one of these type of websites, on the left hand side here is the amount of ADA that you want to uh, add into this particular liquidity pool. And in return, you'll get per ADA tokens, these uh, little cat ADA tokens. So that is a direct representation of how much ADA you put into this liquidity pool. At the end of this event, at the 5th of March, you, half of your ADA will be used for liquidity buying that MinSwap token and the other half of ADA will provide that opposite trading pair for the liquidity pool of the ADA and MinSwap token. And that will provide the DEX with the liquidity needed so that it can trade and operate at that particular launch date. So the more liquidity they have on the DEX for that particular liquidity pool, the better the DEX will operate in general. Now on the right hand side here of the website, we can see the key dates, the discovery phase, which is up until the 5th of March, but you do need to be aware of that 25% increase in fees of moving the ADA in and out. So on the uh, approximately the 3rd, the 4th of March, you need to watch out for the dates. I don't know exactly when they're switching over those epoch times, but on those particular dates, you need to watch out for the increase of the fees. Now I mentioned this in my last video, you can watch it in the top right hand corner there. But I mentioned that they're doing this to stop whales, big movers of ADA, manipulating the price on the DEX itself. So if a whale was to move in 51 million ADA onto the DEX and really inflate the price just before that uh, time and then dump all their tokens as well to throw the price the other way, they will incur that 25% ADA uh, fee and lose 25% of their holdings. So it's not worth them jumping in at that point and manipulating the price, unless the price really did jump further than that and they could still make a profit. But still, that's a really big risk for a whale to lose 25% of their ADA holdings. So that's to stop people from playing around with the decks and manipulating the price that way. We'll see how that plays out and if it really works, but um, please be aware of that price change at that particular point in time. Now, further down here, we can see the amount of ADA that has been locked into this liquidity pool. At the moment, we've got that 3.22 million ADA that is in the pool in exchange for this 100 million min swap tokens. That puts the price of min, one min token, at 0.0322 ADA. Now, it's probably good to be aware that in the previous event, the previous token sale, they were selling the min tokens for approximately 0.3 ADA per min token. So at the moment, it is quite cheap compared to that uh, particular initial token sale. So to get this up to more than that particular token sale, we need to see at least 30 million ADA put into this liquidity pool, if not more. Otherwise, those initial investors that put in that uh, uh, initial liquidity and bought those tokens would have made a loss at this point. And the flood of the min token would uh, essentially lower their value of their particular token that they had. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. In the long run, people like myself who didn't get in on that token sale may have an opportunity to, to buy in at a lower price. And for me, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. For people that put in large amounts of ADA early on uh, last September in 2021, it's a little unfortunate because it means that their token value holding would have dropped down in price on this uh, DEX launch. 
But we will see. Maybe it will increase dramatically afterwards. A lot of people did not get in that sale. It sold out within, I think, under an hour, which is absolutely incredible. It just shows you how much demand there is for DeFi and the Cardano ecosystem. So we'll see what will happen with this price over the next few days. I will do some updates. It'll be interesting, interesting to see how many people put liquidity into this uh, particular pool. But let's get into the process of actually putting in ADA into this. And let me go through this demonstration. Okay, so I'm just connecting my NAMI wallet here. I've already got it set up. Now this puts a prompt up on the screen. And from there, you just need to click on access. And this will give the liquidity bootstrapping event website access to your NAMI wallet in this case, which I've got connected. And you can see here in the top right hand corner now, it says mainnet connected with my NAMI wallet address. And that's it, that's, that's the very first stage that you need to do. Now the next bit here, now that the wallet is actually connected, we can actually put in a value here. And let's say I'll put in 200 ADA into this process. So here I've got 200 ADA, I can see what I get back, 200 per tokens. And now I can just click on deposit and I get a little prompt here, which I just need to sign. So I'll just type in my password and away it goes. So now that will sign the transaction. Transaction is now submitted, fantastic. So now that transaction is being submitted to the blockchain and all I need to do is wait and I'll get my per tokens back. Now it should take maybe 10 to 20 minutes for that whole process to happen. So I'll just wait and see for that uh, particular transaction to go through and get my per tokens back. So while that happens, I'll take you through a bunch of FAQs in regards to uh, things that might go wrong with your process here. So what you saw there, I did it with NAMI. It was really quick and easy for me. I can see my uh, ADA balance there going through and I'll get my per tokens back in a little bit. But other people that are using CC Vault, um, they may have some issues with it and I'll go through the FAQ here. So what wallets are supported at the moment? Only NAMI and CC Vault in this particular process. Uroi being the most popular wallet out there won't work at the moment and you'll need to import your Uroi wallet over to CC Vault so that you can participate in this particular event. If you're using Daedalus as well, you can import Daedalus in, same with Ada Lite, whatever other Cardano native wallet you're using, you can easily import that into CC Vault and get that working. If you don't know how to do that or you haven't seen the process before, I have a video top right hand corner there that you can watch. It's a tutorial that will go through that process of importing your wallet into CC Vault. Now, once you've got that working, um, there, there may be some other issues with this particular site and CC Vault. Now, it will only work in single address mode. So CC Vault needs to be uh, have single address mode enabled. You can go into the settings and set that up so it's a single address mode wallet. This will make it act in a very similar way to how NAMI wallet works because NAMI wallet is a single address wallet only as well and you need to set it up in the same process for it to work properly. Now you only need to do that if you see that you're getting an error that says that we only support single address wallets. So if you do see that, that's what you need to do in CC Vault. Now you saw me put my ADA tokens into this particular process and I haven't got my per tokens back. It does take a while. At the moment, when interacting with the Cardano blockchain, it takes roughly 10 to 15 minutes to submit your transaction onto the blockchain itself. So once it's submitted, the MinSwap backend will see that it's been submitted, it's on chain, but you'll be able to then get that per token back and it should take 10 to 15 man minutes to appear back in your wallet. Now you can verify if you have the correct per tokens. The per tokens does have a policy ID and you can check this by opening up your wallet in pool PM, looking up your address and then looking at the tokens and referencing the policy ID. That's probably the easiest way because it's a very visual way of doing it. Now you may be trading per tokens on other exchanges such as Muesli Swap or even Sunday Swap if people provide the liquidity there for it. So you may be buying it from somewhere else if you're not buying it or swapping it directly on the LBE website here. So it's always worth checking that policy ID to make sure you're trading and using the correct per tokens. Now don't forget about that 25% fee increase at the end of this discovery phase. So on this discovery phase here, just before that encounter phase starts on the 5th of March, that fee will increase by 25%. So if you put in 100 ADA, you'll 
get back only 75 ADA if you're doing an exchange at that point. And if you keep on exchanging again and again, that value that you'll have will, will drop down dramatically. So keep that in mind. Watch out for that date. If you do feel like pulling out your ADA just before that uh, particular time period, please do so before that actually happens, before that fee increase happens. So very important that you keep watch of the date. Now, there is absolutely no rush in regards to providing liquidity into this particular process and the discovery phase. We have another, like I said, uh, nine or so days to actually do this. And this price of ADA and MIN will change dramatically. So it's it's probably worth checking that out, keeping an eye on that. And uh, if, if you think it's gone too high um, and you want to pull the ADA out, you can. If it's too low, maybe you want to put and provide more ADA into it so you can provide more liquidity and get some of those min tokens really cheap. So keep an eye on that price, but there is no incentive of getting in early on this one. Um, take your time. I do like that relaxed approach. Now there is a bonus, a liquidity bonus for participants that are providing liquidity in this particular event because when you trade back your pair of tokens after the discovery phase in the counter phase, you'll get your liquidity tokens and you'll be able to stake that eventually in the final stage, in the settlement stage here for that extra yield farming bonus. Now from what I've seen, it could be as high as 220% to 400% APR. They're really high numbers. So if you provided that liquidity during this uh, boots, uh, this liquidity bootstrapping event during the discovery phase and got your liquidity pool tokens during the encounter phase, when you go to yield farm, you'll get that huge bonus. So there is that huge incentive to actually do this and get more min tokens. So you're really amplifying the amount of min tokens that you're getting. So that's what I'm trying to do. I can provide as much uh, ADA as I have spare, uh, I have at the moment in this discovery phase, get my liquidity pool tokens in the counter phase, and then yield farm it in the settlement phase afterwards and try and get that really big boost to amplify the amount of min tokens that I'm getting. That's the goal. That's the key. Whether I get to successfully do that or not, fingers crossed, I don't stuff anything up. Now let's have a look if my per tokens have come in and I'm pulling down my wallet here and I can see that transaction go through, which means something has happened. So we'll look at that. And if we look at the actual interface here of the LBE website, I can now see that my total ADA balance has gone down. Good. And if you look on the side here, 200 per tokens have come in. So there we go. So uh, it's, uh, it's gone through that process. I now have my per tokens. And if I pull this down here, I can also see uh, what's in my wallet. I can see my drip tokens, Hosky, ADA, which I have a little bit left, and my per liquidity bootstrapping tokens there as well. So there we go. I've got my per tokens. It didn't take that long at all. And from the look of it here on the NAMI wallet, it was actually interacting with a smart contract. So it was minting my per tokens. So it, I didn't have to go through a double process of sending ADA and then send them send tokens back. It actually went through a minting process. Efficient, good way of doing it. Now, if I want to actually withdraw my pair of tokens and send it back to uh, as ADA, I can do that as well. So here I have an option of withdrawing my pair of ADA and I can say, let's withdraw just 25%. Let's say I want to change that price. It's uh, way too cheap or way too expensive and I want to uh, get some of my ADA back. So here we go. So I've got a balance of 200 uh, ADA there and I'm withdrawing 50. So let's go on that withdrawal fee. So I'll receive uh, 51.5 uh, ADA. Okay, so that's the, uh, the amount of ADA that they need to uh, send back so they can actually send um, the, uh, the tokens. So... Okay, so I can go ahead, withdraw that, and uh, and to mention uh, this really important notification here. So there's a timestamp as well. So it's good to actually see that timestamp. So it's Thursday, 3rd of March, uh, 2022 at 2 a.m. GMT. So that's the time that we're looking out for for that fee increase. Thank you. I should have read that earlier. Okay, so let's withdraw this. I can show you how you get your per tokens back. Uh, I mean, submit your per tokens in so you can get your ADA back. So we can see the transaction here. So that looks all good to me. I'll sign that transaction. It's, pro it's, it's really good practice to actually look and read that transaction, see what's going on. Does that transaction match up 
with what you've requested. Uh, really important, especially if you're interacting with new websites that you've never seen before. So keep that in mind. So there we go. That's uh, submitted back onto the blockchain and I'll just wait for that transaction to come through. Now I won't make you wait for that. We'll just see that come through a little bit later. But that's it. That's the whole process. But hopefully this video has helped you through that process, giving you a little bit more of an understanding of what you need to do to go through this liquidity bootstrapping event. It's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Absolutely love the Minswap decks and the team, what they're trying to achieve here. Now, if you find this video useful, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you'll hear more great Cardano related content from me. I'll take you through this journey along with me as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.